Chris Fillmore, you're back on the bike. Now, last year it was an R6. This year it's a Suzuki. Yeah, that's right. Um, kind of, I started talking to Mark a couple months ago, and he said that he was going to get out of Wira and join the AMA, and he wanted a, a two-rider team for Daytona Sport Bike. And we started talking, and, you know, he's obviously got his stuff together. He's won eight uh, endurance championships, so I knew... You know, the team was going to be good and the bike should be good. And um, it really came together just like a couple weeks before Fontana. Um, what is it? You know, became official. I was like, all right, get your helmet, get your gear, and um, show up. So yesterday was the first day on the bikes. Um, they're definitely a little bit different than the Yamaha, but, um, you know, I'm, not, I'm, already, I'm already going faster than I did qualified at last year. Um, on the Yamaha after, you know, just two sessions. So I think it's going to be good. You know, it, it would definitely have to wait to see. Um, I have a great crew behind me, and um, I, I look forward to working with them and, you know, seeing what we can do with the bike to make it work for me. Yeah, you've got uh, Stanton on the crew. He's, like, the number one plate holder forever in the AFM and, uh, and Liquor from Arcolite, so you got a good team. Yeah, no, I, I knew James a little bit. The first time I met him was I did a... Um, Jason Pridmore School and I met Jason and James and they both worked with me and ever since you know he's kind of been an ally in the paddock and uh, even last year you know he would help me out as much as he could and so I'm really happy to be working with these guys and um, Dave I just met yesterday and seems like a great guy and so I look forward to him and I hope the, they'll be with me the whole the whole year. How is it now that you're kind of you have a full team behind you, whereas last year you were kind of running a privateer effort? Yeah, it's uh, it's, it's a lot better. Um, it just takes the stress off of me. You know, it's like these guys worry about the bike, and I just worry about myself and riding and make sure you know I'm doing everything right for for myself. Instead of last year, it was like we had one guy, Jeff Sesmet, who did a great job, but you know, between him and I and my dad. It was just, it was, it was too much to run a, a full program, you know. I was running to AMA asking for this, and it, it, not that it, it's undoable, but it's just, you know, this is ideal. It allows you to concentrate on your job. Exactly. Um, you know, with Supermoto, I've always had a ride and just been able to show up and practice and ride, ride, ride. And I, know, I think that's what it takes, you know, you can't, with our sport, it's so competitive and, you know, you have to be just always at the top of your top level and you know always in the best shape and you can't really have compromises of like you know driving for a week and taking two weeks off from training and stuff like that so it's it makes a big deal and you know having a team and having kind of a teammate is a big you know upside for me but just like yesterday we can you know we can talk to each other about problems we're having and you know maybe I'm helping him and maybe he's helping me but either way we're both going forward and it, it, it's just good to bounce things off of each other and, you know, it's sit down as a team and, you know, a big group. And I, so far, uh, uh, it's good, and I'm, I, I think it'll only get better. Well, we're glad to see you. Good luck. Yeah, thank you very much. Glad to be here.